at. As the final legal hurdle to the merger between at. While management of at. Shareholders of Time Warner were not too thrilled neither, the share price increased by only 1.8% to $98, still well below the $107.50 initial bid price from at. And who can blame the shareholders on both sides? For the shareholders of Time Warner, every drop in at. For the shareholders of at. Moody's almost immediately cut at. Was this merger worth all the pain? Was it necessary for both at? In the past five years, with the help of acquisitions, at? Over the same period, video subscribers increased sevenfold to reach 39 million subscribers. Revenues increased by 25%. All impressive. But in an intensely competitive market, operating income was volatile, and was 30% lower in 2017 than in 2013. Operating cash flow was just as volatile, reaching $39 billion in 2017, the same as in 2013 but 6% lower as a percentage of sales. For Time Warner, the picture has been slightly better, but still pressure has been there. Revenues grew 20% between 2013 and 2017, with operating income to sales increasing from 23% in 2013 to 27% in 2017, and operating cash flow growing by 52% over the same period. However, Time Warner's ability cash generation ability is weaker than that of AT. And Time Warner's leverage and credit ratings are one notch weaker than AT. The hope is that the combination of both titans would help them improve financial metrics, and would make the merged entity more competitive than separated entities. At In addition, over time, at At It is about creating a floor underneath at And even if at this merger highlights one of the most definitive trends of the modern media business, the push from tech and telecommunications giants to integrate downstream within the value chain, and to control the more profitable, popular content that once passively supplied. Well it was a bold gamble for both at. Disclosure, I am, we are long T.I. wrote this article myself, and it expresses my own opinions. I am not receiving compensation for it, other than from Seeking Alpha. I have no business relationship with any company whose stock is mentioned in this article.